Before it was a capital or even a city, Victoria was founded as the major British supply port for the west coast of North America. Now where you have supplies, you need defense, and right next to Victoria's harbor was a much bigger one. That's how Esquimalt became the Pacific home of the greatest navy in the world. The Royal Navy began using Esquimalt Harbor in the 1840s and moved its Pacific headquarters here from Chile in 1864. Construction began on this graving dock in 1876. It is now the oldest working dry dock on the west coast of North or South America. Many heritage buildings date from the Royal Navy period, including this house built in 1879. It has a resident ghost, as does this former Navy jail. World War II brought enormous growth to the Canadian Navy and new stature with our allies, especially in the North Atlantic. By war's end, the number of ships had increased from 13 to 434, and the number of service personnel from 3,000 to 100,000. Canada's Navy had become the third largest in the world. With Armed Forces unification in the 1960s, the Navy gained a new name, Canadian Forces Maritime Command, but it still retains its proud traditions. CFB Esquimalt is still the headquarters of Canada's Pacific Fleet, occupying more than 10,000 acres on the harbour. There are two main parts to the base. Naden serves as the administrative and training centre, while Dockyard is the fleet maintenance facility. Renowned for the range and skill of its trades, Dockyard also serves other branches of the Canadian Forces. In addition to its main base, CFB Esquimalt has other sites up and down the coast, including a deep water port at Nanus Bay and communication centers in the Fraser Valley. In total, about 6,000 people work at CFB Esquimalt, one third of which are civilians. On the base is this Museum of Canada's Naval and Military History. It's open to the public year round. And just across the harbour are the National Historic Sites of Fort Rod Hill, a battery that once guarded the narrow entrance, and Fiskard Lighthouse, the first lighthouse built on Canada's west coast. While proud of its past, our Navy is prouder still of its present-day roles and its continuing service in the future.